All right, throughout the night, Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein has kind of put aside the weather duties and been mm -hmm. tracking this area where that shooting took place. And I have to tell you, we appreciate that because it kind of gave us a better perspective of exactly what was going on. Yeah, yeah Wes, so break down what you've put together for us. Yeah, so listen, the city of Raleigh encompasses 150 square miles and is about 500,000 people. So when you hear active shooter in Raleigh, it could be one of so many different places and so many different people. Plus, those of you in Cary and Apex and Wake Forest and Garner, when you tell people where you're from across the country, where do you say you're from? Raleigh, right? Well, when it became a national story, it became a very big deal where in Raleigh this happened. And as the crow flies, the neighborhood where this all started, where shots fired first reported shortly after 5 o'clock, is about six miles east of downtown Raleigh. It's in a neighborhood. It's a master plan community, hundreds of homes with a golf course intertwined between the homes and right on the Noose River. Well, right in between the Noose River and the neighborhood is the Greenway where a lot of this activity starts started, but more than four hours later, it shifted about a mile to the east. This is where we were tracking, tracking the helicopter from the highway patrol, and they were on either side of 540 where there's another golf course south of a church, open fields, much fewer homes, forest. It became very complicated, plus you add in the factor of darkness as this really didn't wrap up until after 9 o'clock. So that little story in our backyard became a national tragedy is where everything happened on a day that started with so much rain, the excitement of the state fair, and us waiting on a cold front. Well, guess what? That cold front is still on the way, and there's still a little bit of rain, but we have much better weather and hopefully much more time to recover from what happened today over the weekend. I'll look into that on the weather front in a few minutes. All right.